Before we get this video started, I want to quickly thank Mr. Twister WX for the suggestion. Uh, I would go ahead and show you the actual comment that he left, but unfortunately, YouTube has been disabling all of my comments on my videos recently. So if you do have a suggestion for what you'd like to see me do next in this series, you can go ahead and post that in the r slash DFS subreddit. Enjoy. Joplin, Missouri. At first glance, Joplin may seem like a relatively peaceful and ordinary Midwest city, being located near the dead center of the United States. And for the most part, it is, except for with folks within the weather community. On May 22, 2011, a violent, long-tracking F5 tornado would devastate and destroy Joplin, causing over 150 fatalities, well over 1,000 injuries, and becoming the costliest tornado on record in U.S. history. This is the story of the Joplin EF5. Enjoy. Now let's go ahead and start off this video by talking about the forecasting job done by the Storm Prediction Center for this event. Now on day two, there was a relatively high area of cape and wind shear mixing over portions of southwestern Missouri and northeastern Oklahoma notice for May 22nd. So this led the Storm Prediction Center to issue a day two slight risk of severe weather at 1730Z for portions of the Midwest and the southern United States, driven by a 30% hatched risk for severe weather. But on May 22nd, a moderate risk of severe weather was issued for portions of southeastern Minnesota, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, northwestern Indiana, eastern Iowa, central Missouri, southeast Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma, and northwestern Arkansas, driven by a 15% hatch risk for tornadoes, a 45% damaging wind risk, and a 45% hatch risk for large hail across portions of the southern plains. Now, before we discuss the Joplin tornado, the main devastation of May 22nd, 2011, it's important to know that that was not the only strong tornado that occurred that day. A long-tracking, strong EF3 tornado struck parts of northeast Oklahoma in southwestern Missouri, injuring four, and a very long-tracking, strong tornado impacted portions of central Wisconsin, injuring one just south of the town of Nakusa. So now it's time to discuss the Mega Wedge itself, Joplin. This tornado started out southwest of the city of Joplin, here right near the Kansas-Missouri border, and quickly strengthened, causing some EF3 damage on the southwest side of town. Now, it continued to strengthen to the point where it was causing EF5 level damage on the south side of Joplin, mainly due to the damage to St. John's Medical Center, which is built to withstand severe weather and tornadoes, however, did not fare too well with this one. This tornado continued to cause more EF4 and EF5 level damage as it ravaged the south side of Joplin, Missouri. Eventually, it made its way to the interstate where it finally started to weaken out but stayed on the ground for another several minutes. In total, this tornado was over 1,600 yards wide at a point. It stayed on the ground for over 20 miles, causing 158 fatalities and 1,150 injuries, as well as becoming the costliest tornado of all time with almost $3 billion in damages on the south side of Joplin. Hello, no one is available available to take your call at this time. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello, Internet. He's going to be back within the next, like, 30 seconds or so. He is out of town right now, but I just had to let you guys know that I figured out why he wants me out. He hates the Whataburger food review. It embarrasses him. It's awful to him. People bullied him all of his life for it, and it's all my fault, and I understand that now, but he can't just replace me like this. Get this video to 100 likes to show your support for Davis Does Games. I'm going to try to hang on for as long as I can, but I know the second that he comes back, if I'm still in here, I'm done. It's also worth mentioning that the same supercell just after produced a much less strong, however still significant tornado that ripped through this little town southeast of Talmadge City. I couldn't find the exact name for this town. It seems to be a very small little area there with a few homes, maybe a business or two, but overall this tornado ended up causing zero fatalities and zero injuries. However, it was 800 yards wide and stayed on the ground for over 14 miles. Now it's time for the sad part of the video. We have to look at the devastation and destruction that this tornado caused across the community. 
Now, I have looked at a lot of tornado damage in my time, but time and time again, I am just blown away by the widespread devastation of Joplin's damage. You know, whenever you see an EF5 tornado, you usually see damage like to this magnitude, probably once or twice in the event, but Joplin, it was citywide. There is a reason that this is the costliest tornado of all time. It cost almost $3 billion in damages in downtown Joplin, and almost more whenever you adjust for inflation, this tornado went on to ravage the entire south side of town after touching down on the Kansas-Missouri state line and did something to the town that took them years to recover. There was damage years and years after this tornado occurred. Although it became less noticeable as time went on, scars were left through this town for so, so long, and some are even still there today. Now, I tried to find an exact number for how many businesses and homes were destroyed in this tornado, but many sources will tell you many different things. The National Institute of Standards and Technology says that 553 businesses were uh, damaged and nearly 7,500 residential structures were destroyed, while the Wikipedia page for the 2011 Joplin tornado says that it damaged nearly 8,000 buildings and of those, about 4,000 were destroyed. Now, as you can see down here in the National Archives uh, website, we can see that 553 businesses were damaged or completely destroyed, and today only 446 of those employers have reopened or are in the process of reopening, which is very sad to think about because that means that there are over 100 business owners that had their livelihoods completely destroyed by this devastation. In conclusion, the Joplin tornado was a devastating tragedy that will never be forgotten in the weather community, in the Midwest, and especially in the town. There will be families that will remember this for the rest of their lives. There are businesses that may never reheal, and this tornado caused more damage than I think any other one has ever. I think that the scars left in the town of Joplin were horrific, and I don't think that we will see something like this again in the near future. At least, I hope not. But if we do, you know that we will be here live on this channel covering it as it happens, as it all goes down, and we'll probably have talked about the potential for it five days in advance in forecasts. If you want more documentaries like this, make sure to click that subscribe button with notifications on. We are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which is a very, very high goal, and it may be a little bit of a stretch, but I think that we can do it with your guys' support. I also want to encourage you guys to check out some of these other younger weather enthusiasts in the community. There's a lot of us out there that not a lot of people know about but deserve some recognition. We all try to do our very best out here, and a lot of us would like to do this as a potential career in the future, and you guys watching our videos, liking our videos, subscribing helps out more than you could ever know, so I just want to thank you guys for doing that. If you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you guys to do that, but anyways, I'm done rambling. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great year. Peace. Alright, that part looks good. What is this? Hello, no one is available to take your call at this time. Please. I'm out of town right now, but I just had to let you guys know that I... He's still here.